Your passwords are already hacked, and I'm gonna show you why. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay on top of your online security. So as no fault of your own, passwords that you use probably have already been hacked. And if you think you're secure because you use long passwords, I'm here to show you that that's only part of the picture. So be sure to like this video and let's get into it. So I'll start this off with a bit of a story. A few months ago, I was seeing a girl who had her Netflix account hacked. She was locked out, but then called customer service and she got her account back fine. But I was more interested in finding out how this happened than going over there to watch Netflix and chill. So I asked what her email address was and she gave it to me. And a minute later, I messaged her back with her password and she freaked out. So just how did I do this? Well, no, I didn't hack her, but one of the websites that she was using was. So the problem here lies with the websites that you use and trust with your passwords. It's their responsibility to keep your personal information safe. But sometimes this sadly doesn't happen. And as a result, information can get leaked, which can include passwords and other personal information. This has happened to a few companies like this. Yeah. Now, most of the time when you use a website, they don't store your password in clear text like this. Instead, they put it through a one-way hashing algorithm, which is a form of encryption that will turn this into this. Then, when you want to log onto the website, you'll enter your password again, like this, it will get converted to this, and then it will see if these two password hashes match. If they do, then you'll be allowed to log in. And this is designed to keep your password safe in the event of a security breach. But sometimes these passwords still get revealed in clear text. And this is because of a few reasons. Firstly, over time, these hashing algorithms can get weaker, which does make it much faster to actually crack the passwords. Secondly, if an attacker is motivated enough and has a specific target in mind, then they are able to collect personal information about the target from freely available sources such as Facebook, then they'll implement a dictionary attack, which is basically trying a whole bunch of different words. They'll combine these words with some information that they've already gathered about you, such as birth years and things like that. Then they'll put this through the same one-way hashing algorithm to try and generate the same hash. Once they've got a match, they know what the clear text password is. Now, if you think this will take a long time, then you might be mistaken because attackers are able to guess over 7 billion password combinations per second. So once an attacker has cracked a password from one of these websites, they're able to try and use the same password to log into something like Facebook or Gmail or other email addresses. Once they do this, then they can have a strong foothold on your online identity which will give them the key that they're looking for to access all these other online services that you use to try and leak personal information or steal your identity. So just how can you protect yourself against this? Well, fortunately, here's the good news. First thing you need to do is check if you've been hacked. Go to haveibeenpwned.com and type in your email. This will let you know if the email address that you've used has been compromised in a previous data breach. Then go reset your password. I recommend at least 15 characters as this just makes it a lot harder to crack. But more importantly, just use a password manager. A password manager will generate a unique password for every single website that you visit. And this is even built into Chrome and Firefox now, so there's really no excuse. And of course, use two-factor authentication for those really sensitive things like online banking. So back to the girl's Netflix account. I was able to get her password in plain text because it was already involved in a previous data breach. And because I work as a penetration tester, I have access to hundreds of gigabytes of already compromised email address and password combinations like you see just here. It was then a simple matter of searching through text files to find a match, and then I sent her her password. This is something that is pretty simple to do. So is your email address being compromised? If so, leave it in the comments below. No kidding, don't do that. But share your experiences below, I'd really like to hear from you. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something, and if you did, maybe consider sharing this with a friend, and I'll catch you in the next one.